There is millions of ounces of gold sitting right here. We hit a box, found two beautiful nuggets. <laughs> Check out that crystal. <laughs> So this is my very first time on this claim. I have no idea what to expect. There's a lot of bedrock and a lot of cracks. So I'm gonna do some crevicing, some metal detecting, and hopefully get lucky. Three, two, one. So this is the place, huh? Martin over here has been here a lot, so I'm gonna kind of follow him around to see what he thinks. I've been working this claim all summer. So today I'm gonna show Polly where the gold is, hopefully. I didn't have boots, so what I brought were my wetsuit boots. They're much colder than the actual boots. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use this gold monster melt detector to kind of scan all the bedrock to see if we can find any easy targets. Once I do that, I might do some crevicing or even some gold pan. So what I'm doing is just metal detecting over top of the little cracks to see if there's any nuggets that would have fell in them. This area seems highly worked, so I'm gonna have to go really slow and really choose my spot. So when gold is traveling down a river, any obstruction will cause a low pressure zone, which makes the gold drop. Right here is a hill, and this hill, when the water is going over top, will cause a low pressure zone above me where the gold will drop down. And the best place for gold to trap is on the bedrock in cracks and crevices. So this is where I'm gonna do our first test. So all these bricks, or what I call bedrock stairs, they're all pretty loose. So I'm gonna get underneath all these to see what kind of material lays below. Nothing. No gold, but I did find a really old ball bearing, most likely from an old gun. The gold along this river is good. It's just very spotty. You gotta find those little pockets. Let's continue. And number two. There is millions of ounces of gold sitting right here. <laughs> this is essentially just free money. little fly poops, but nothing more. All right, let's see. Okay, way better. Yeah, that's a pretty good fan, I think. So even though these pieces are really small, it's much better than the last places we're working at. So what I'm gonna do for the next little while is just dig in that one spot and see if we can add to this candy count. So last time I was here, about three months ago, I've been stashing a tote with some equipment in there, but I don't remember at all what I've put in it. So now I'm gonna take it out of there and see what's in it. First treasure of the day. Not sure where it was, it was around here. <laughs> oh, I think it's here. Uh, no, not that one. I gotta remember where it is. A few weeks ago, the water was about here. So it brought a lot of changes. Probably moved everything. Now I can't find the entrance. Uh, I can't find it. Loser. Where'd it go? Two microscopic fly pieces of poop. So this officially means, Martin, we can retire. Let's go home. Oh yeah, but they're done. A big reason we are here today is not because of the gold, but also because of the crystals. Check this out. Right here we have a very clear tabby crystal. It has some water inclusions on the inside. So let's pull it off and see what it looks like. It was Martin's fault. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> so out here in Canada, we are trained to use the resources available to us. Right here we have something that tells us time. So when the sun hits this ice cube right here, it points to a Roman numeral giving us the time of the day. Now since the sun isn't out right now, there is no time. Check out that crystal. That is so clear. It's crystal clear. <laughs> so 
We're wearing those panning gloves because the water is about one degree right now. It's very cold. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to pan for a long time. I'm going to show you right after. It's already filling up. We have lots of black sand, which usually is a good sign. Okay, nothing. That one. It'll get better in the next few pans. So Martin and I are just trying to clean out this crevice here. It's produced a couple pieces of gold so far, but we want to see how far we can get before we have to give up because of the water in the way. For those of you who don't know how to gold pan, it's basically just separating the dirt from the gold. So you put the material inside the pan and then you shake it with the water, mixing everything up. Then you let the water take the top layer off. Once the top layer is off, you shake everything again, making sure everything heavy, like gold, gets to the bottom, and then you release some more from the top. You repeat this process until you have nothing left but black sand and hopefully gold. There's nothing! Oh, f <laughs> Any gold? Uh, little pieces. Four or five little specks to add to the incredible amount we have already. Usually at the bottom of those crevices is pretty good. I found some like nine pickers in the other one this summer and uh, some of them were pretty big. So there's a good potential here. Let's keep going. Ah! <laughs> Just kidding. It's so cool. <laughs> There's a lot of little crevices I'm seeing around in the area. So I'm just walking around with my pointy stick, testing the ground. This piece of bedrock is really loose here. And I feel like this piece and this piece would come out, exposing a nice deep crevice with millions of golds in it. So we're just taking a quick break right now. The gold here isn't as great as the other places that I like to go to, but it is very convenient to be here and it's a nice place just to sit down in the sun and find yourself some gold. Ah, beautiful. So Martin missed a lot of material. I'm just coming in after him to get it all. Did we hit a pocket? Look at that. One, two, three and there's a bunch of little uh, poops in there. Okay, we're almost done with that crevice. We've been detecting first, then doing a bunch of pans, uh, going through the overburden, all the material, all the way to the bottom. And then what I do at the bottom, I use a smaller detector called a pin pointer. Usually it will pick up a signal four to six inches deep. I had a strong signal in there at the bottom after moving the last little pieces of rocks. Got very excited and found two beautiful nuggets. Unfortunately, they are aluminum nuggets. Two beautiful aluminum nuggets. As you can hear, will give a strong signal as well as gold. And this crevice here goes probably all the way to the center of the river. So what I'm thinking, if I'm ever down in this area in the summertime with my wetsuit, I'm gonna snipe this whole area and see if we can get to the bottom of this crevice. I imagine it'd be a bit more gold than aluminum. So after a few hours working on this claim, this is the gold that we found. Not tea bag. It could be better, it could be worse. I'm not complaining. And this is some of the garbage we pulled out of the river. Some aluminum and lead. Unfortunately, I don't think this is enough gold to weigh, so I'm gonna end this right here. Thank you so much for watching this video and sticking around. Now for some exciting news. Over 90% of all the footage I've ever taken on my videos are outtakes and bloopers, and now I have a place to put them. After years of not wanting to, I finally decided to open up a Patreon account where you can see all the extra footage I've taken and put it in a place for you to enjoy. Introducing the Schlubble. Oh, Schlubble. What am I, what am, what am I saying introducing? Introducing the Schlubble. Schlubble. Schl <laughs> 
cakes, bloopers, and even things I will be giving away shortly. Now, I only just started it, but rest assured, in time, there's gonna be a pile of content that nobody has seen before, more perks for you guys, and I imagine there's gonna be more content on there than anywhere else. Also, no hard feelings if you don't wanna support, that's okay, I still love you. Thank you all for watching, thank you so much for your support, and until the next one, black screen with logo. It's crystal clear.